Super soups, three soups you can make using leftover ham. The very best flavor in soup comes from using a meat with the bone left in. This is true for beef, pork, chicken or whatever meat you use. With holiday hams, we often have a ham bone left. If some meat is left on the bone, it can be the base of a most savory and delicious soup. Even if there is no ham bone left, just chunks of meat is enough. Or another option is to get some smoked ham hocks to add in that wonderful flavor. Long, slow cooking allows the bone to release all its goodness, and the ham remnants fall off the bone. When using a ham bone with meat left on, this is more than salty enough so that no salt needs to be added to the soup. If you are using only chunks of ham, taste the soup towards the end of cooking time to ascertain if salt is needed. All of these soups are very easy to make. The long cooking time means the soup will need to be monitored for a water level, so it does not dry out. If temperature is kept at a very low simmer, all should be well. 1. Ham and maybe bean soup in a large pot, place the ham bone with some ham on. Pour in 1 pound of navy beans, picked over and washed, 3 fourths cup of long cooking barley, 1 onion, chopped, 3 carrots, peeled and chopped, 1 large tomato, chopped, three celery stalks, chopped, two potatoes, peeled and cubed and two bay leaves. Cover all this with water and bring to a boil. Cover the pot and lower heat to simmer for two to three hours, until the beans have cooked through and have thickened the soup. Remove the bay leaves before serving. This makes a large pot of soup, so invite the family. To Split pea, ham and vegetable soup. This soup starts out similarly. Place the ham or ham bony with meat into a large soup pot. Pour in one pound of green or yellow split peas. Add in one chopped onion, three carrots, peeled and cut in small dice, three celery stalks, cut in small dice, one large potato, peeled and cut in small dice. Cover with about four to six cups of water and bring to a boil. Reduce heat, cover and simmer for about two hours or until the split peas have disintegrated and the soup is thickened. Add in one 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach and cook until the spinach has completely melted and heated through. This is another large pot of soup, so great for these winter nights. 3. Ham, potato and cheese soup place into a large soup pot about 1 pound of leftover ham meat, or ham bone with meat left on. Chop one onion and add to the pot, with two stalks of celery chopped in small bits. Add in four potatoes. Peeled and cut in half inch dice, and pour in water to nearly cover. Bring to a boil, reduce heat and allow the soup to simmer, covered, for at least one to two hours, giving the ham time to fall off bones, if the bone is used. Remove bone and lightly mash the soup ingredients to make the potatoes into a thickener. Add in one can of evaporated milk and two cups of grated cheddar cheese and cook until the cheese has melted. Super soups, three soups you can make using leftover ham. The very best flavor in soup comes from using a meat with the bone left in. This is true for beef, pork, chicken or whatever meat you use. With holiday hams, we often have a ham bone left. If some meat is left on the bone.